Senator McCabe, thank you for your leadership in human rights. And uh, I think we all understand very well where it comes from. You know what does it mean to be tortured. Uh, I think probably you're one of you in this room who knows what does that mean. Uh, Bahrain, are we going to see Senator McCain's leadership when it comes to Bahrain? I think as an ally, we have given them a lot of pass. As, you are, as we meeting today, torture is still happening in Bahrain. And I, I think this administration needs a push from uh, a leadership in human rights in the Senate. And I think we all know when you spoke in Libya what happened, and you're still pushing this uh, administration on Syria, as a Bahraini American, my question is, are we going to see your leadership uh, when it comes to human rights violations in Bahrain? Thank you. Well, thank you for the question. Uh, as a matter of fact, this weekend I am going to Bahrain, where I intend to raise these issues with, uh, with the leadership. Uh, I guess I'm not supposed to say it, my travel plans, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, if I'm assassinated, uh, it's your fault. <laughs> raise a very legitimate uh, concern. I would like, and this is why we have to have more of a dialogue on the issue of Bahrain. I think we also know there are other influences that are uh, part of a, that has made Bahrain a battleground for Saudi versus Iran, uh, Shia, Sunni, a number of other complexities of this issue that have made it a more complex and difficult issue. But I don't think there's any doubt that no country can continue to abuse people's human rights and maintain the support of its people. But I think you would agree, and by the way, I'd be glad to hear your response if you want to, that there are some complications to this issue which make it not exactly a pure issue of human rights. You, go, go ahead, because you are. I, I think you're related to Iran. Uh, there was a report commissioned almost a year ago, and it's, we're, we're living the anniversary of that report called the BICI Commission, or the BICI report. In that report that was commissioned by the king himself and, and his government, the, the, the investigators clearly said that the uprising or the Arab Spring in Bahrain is, is basically uh, 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 native from the Bahrainis, and Iran did not play any role in it, or is not behind it. However, it's gonna be the beneficiary if this continues. That's the fear, as a Bahraini American. I, and there are more recent reports. Doug, hold on the microphone a second. And there are more recent reports of more active Iranian involvement, I think you would agree, as happens with these conflicts when they drag on, as is happening in Syria, with jihadists flooding into, and, and even Al-Qaeda flooding into to Syria. This is why there should be every effort to bring these conflicts to a close and obviously show more American leadership. I, I cannot Enjoy. agree more. Yeah. We need dialogue in Bahrain. We need the opposition, the peaceful opposition that's in prison. We need them out, sitting on the table with the Bahraini government. But how can you start the dialogue when torture is still taking place and political opposition the leader? And there is no clear a uh, strong message coming from the White House. They say we, we talk in behind closed doors. Well, we don't know really what they talk about. I guess not working for a year, so we need a change in policy. I'm sorry, my friends, to have this issue do kind of dominate our conversation, but I think it is a classic example of the challenges that we face in our pursuit of human rights, and that at the end of the day, we better stand up for what we believe in. Thank you.